right, so on Black Friday, <laughs> we um, did some pet supply shopping and did some pretty major damage. Um, you know, we did shop for the things that normal people shop for too, but we also did a lot of pet shopping. So this is like Black Friday stuff, but it's also um, a couple of retailers have been doing like 12 day deals in the lead up to Christmas. So, or holidays. Um, so we've, uh, we've sort of done some additional damage uh, in that time period. So this is just a bunch of that stuff. Um, it's mostly Petco, one thing from Pet Value, and then the rest from Clean Run. Um, we also got some stuff from Best Bully Sticks, but we will, um, we'll film that separately because we're still waiting for one thing to arrive. Um, we're not gonna open everything as we go through it because it would just be insane, like you'll see. Um, a lot of this stuff is gonna be uh, saved for a later date. Um, Good to have a stockpile? Yeah, well that was basically the idea, so we're not going to open everything. So Petco is doing a lot of like buy one get one half off on treats um, on Black Friday. So we went to Petco and Guinness, what are you doing? There's nothing that's open in here. <laughs> um, so he really loves these. They're the Play-Doh Pet Treats Hunter's Crunch Jerky Minis. Uh, they come in like long sticks too. Guinness, stop rustling. Um, they come in long sticks too, but these are obviously like more bite-sized. Um, and these are great. They're, I think, single ingredient actually. Yeah, ingredients, cod skin. Um, it's That's basically... It? Oh, it's little nuggets made of cod skin. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, everything just came spilling out. Yes, you can't get in there. You can't get in there. Um, yeah, they're just like little cubes of cod skin. Um, and he lost them. So we got two of those because they were buy one get one half off um and then we also got we've never tried these before but the 100% uh, natural dog treats from true chews um so we got the premium grillers made with real steak these are sourced and made in the usa and the ingredients are beef including sirloin steak um potatoes vegetable glycerin natural flavors salt distilled vinegar and colored with paprika so these were also buy one get one half off. There's so much rustling going on. <laughs> um, these were also buy one get one half off. So we got um, one of the premium grillers made with real steak. Okay. And they're kind of like these flexible jerky type things and that you can tear into small pieces if necessary. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope slash think they're terrible. Yeah. Um, they feel terrible, right? Like through the plastic. I think so. We might have see, had gotten these before, I feel. We haven't gotten or these. Or something similar. Um, I, just, I remember we were standing in Petco just like feeling them through the bag. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm pretty sure they're terrible. So okay. we got those and we got the, the pork and chicken sausage recipe as well because I'm going half off. Um, and the ingredients in this one are pork, chicken, vegetable glycerin, pinto beans, pea starch, pork stock, pea protein, gelatin, potatoes, honey, natural flavors, citrus fiber, distilled vinegar, salt, natural smoke flavor, and colored with paprika. Um, so again, like a pretty good ingredients list. These are sausage shape. Okay. These also feel kind of soft as well. Yeah, I think those ones will be terrible. Like we can get them off in bits. Yes. Um, and then the last thing from Petco was, um, Plato is a really good brand, actually. They do really good treats. Um, oh, you stepped on me. Pl oh, Plato, like Plato. the... Like the philosopher. The philosopher, okay. I think I was saying... Like Plato, like the... Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> like the children's toy. Yeah, you're... So, um, so these are the thinkers. Canis, you can't tear into the bag. Leave it. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise. Leave it. Um, we go the plastic out of the way because that's super annoying. Um, so these are the Thinkers Pacific Salmon Dog Treats. Um, they're over 90% salmon. They have, you know, DHA, GMO free, no byproducts, made in USA. Okay. Um, the ingredients in these are salmon, brown rice, salt, zinc, propionate, fat product, 
It's a source of DHA. Mm -hmm. Mixed to cough roll, citric acid, rosemary extract, vitamin E supplement, L ascorbyl 2 phosphate, which apparently is a source of vitamin C. Okay. Um, vegetable glycerin and collagen casing. Um, they're basically like long sausages. They go all the way up the bag. Okay. Um, so you can see like they're sausagey shaped in there. You got these? I guess compared to the previous ones, which are so these are definitely breakable. Like I'm breaking one in my hand as. Well, while it's in the uh, in the bag. Great. So when we open the bag, it's just gonna be little bits <laughs> of sausage. Fair. But it's made by the same company as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Play-Doh brand. So okay. we got that one. Well, and just to clarify, DHA is a uh, docohexanoic acid, which is a uh, omega-3 fatty acid yeah. found in fish. So. Right. Yeah, it's like that's the stuff good. that's in fish oil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which people take as a people supplement. He also takes fish oil every day, so you know it's really overkill. Um, and then it was buy one get one half off, so we also got the natural duck flavor. Um, again, which is over 90% duck, also has DHA in it. The ingredients in this are, I think, basically the same, except the first ingredient is duck. Mm -hmm. So it's duck, brown rice, salt, zinc propionate, fat product, quick stacophorol, citric acid, rosemary extract, vitamin E supplement, L ascorbyl 2 phosphate, vegetable glycerin, and collagen casing. So it's exactly the same, I think. Okay. Um, again, just like super long. Yeah, and also like it's kind of a bendy and breakable. Yeah, are you are you breaking them in the bag for me? Not unintentionally. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. Thanks it's a, a nice lot. nice array of things. Um, it's like slowly eclipsing the field of vision of my of the camera. But yeah. all right. Well, we're not even close to being done. Um, all right. What is that? Where did you find that, Guinness? Uh, it's probably from the trash. Take it away. Where do we even have an open trash? Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably from the um. The um, the paper towels that I was using to clean the uh, oh. clean the fireplace, a little oh. bit. Yeah. the see. mantle in the fireplace. Um, all right. So then we also made a stop at Pet Value, and I was actually looking for the um, you know Honest Kitchen. They do like their seasonal uh, drinks for dogs. Drinks. Um, yeah, you know how I have like the goat's milk mix for him yeah, and it. the bone broth mix. They yeah. also do seasonal canisters where you add water, and it's like like a pumpkin spice latte for dogs or like an eggnog for dogs. Okay. Um, so our pet value actually didn't have them in stock, but while we were there, um, these were 30% off on Black Friday, so we got a bag. Um, they're the Crumps Naturals Sweet Potato Chews. Um, they don't last super long for him, but, you know, they're like fun for him to chew on. He really likes them. Okay. It's just and dried sweet potato. Oh, okay. So we, we've gotten this from like uh, local markets and stuff like that. Um, yeah. As well, right? Like, like, uh, like a pet fairs. A lot of people like freeze dry, or like, or not they freeze dry. Bake. They oven uh, okay. They oven dry. Bake? Okay, yeah. oven dry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These are made in Canada. The only ingredient yeah. in them is sweet potato. Um, okay. But yeah, yeah. like, and he I loves those. He really likes them. Um, they take I think like six or eight hours in the oven to dry. Mm -hmm. So you could do it at home, but it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a really long yeah. time to get sweet potato like you know, dried sweet potato. Yeah. Um, clearly he likes it, so... Yeah. So okay. moving on to Clean Run. Get rid of this bag. Yeah, here, <laughs> just give it to me. Um, so Clean Run on Black Friday was doing 15% off uh, site-wide. So we got some stuff on Black Friday. Um, and then they've also been doing 12 days of deals. Um, so like each day they had some things on sale and they would do it like cumulatively so you could um like some of their deals didn't expire for several days um so we ended up placing a couple of orders with clean run clean run is the um they really specialize in like agility and uh dog training equipment mm -hmm. i kind of think of them as the um like the curated selection of like dog training agility store okay um, well, that's where we got the um yeah, like our weave poles. The and weave poles, um, just to we filmed clarify. Them. This is one of the weave pole kit that we have. We, we talked about it before. Yeah, and the jumps are in the yard right now. Yeah, um, covered in snow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I kind of think of them as like the Trader Joe's of, mm -hmm. um, of like dog training agility equipment. Like okay. they kind of curate the selection for you. Um, so a lot of the stuff that they have on there is pretty good quality. Um, so I actually don't even know what's in these boxes. 
Oh, the one thing with Clean Run is I think especially around sale season, um, they tend to run out of things pretty quickly. So we ended up having like a bunch of stuff that was back ordered. Um, but they're good about it. They send you an email. They ask you what you want to do in terms of like canceling it or if you want to just like wait for it all to ship. Um, or if you want to <laughs> just like get your shipment and then um, have the thing that's back ordered shipped separately. This is his favorite thing. He yeah. loves playing with these. And I hate popping them. So I let him do it for me. Yeah, just make sure it doesn't eat anything. I know. He's good about not swallowing plastic, but if you do this, like, make sure you supervise your dog. Um, good boy, Guinness. Thank you, Guinness. Thank you, Guinness. Is that one? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> yep, that one's all popped. <laughs> good boy. He's very efficient. Leave it. Yeah. Leave that one. Good boy. Good boy. Uh -oh. Pop it. A little bit in his mouth. Good just, just... boy. Leave it. Good boy. Chicken See? mouth. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Got yeah, it? Okay. Um, so, uh-uh. Leave it. He's about to show you what he got. Um, so the one thing about Clean Run is they have a pretty high free shipping minimum, and I hate paying for shipping. It's like $120 or something like that, okay. free shipping. Um, so, but they sell these calm balls. That squeak. <laughs> so whenever I'm under my shipping limit, oh, like, so it's like I'm, a filler, yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. like you always. That's always need, useful. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, that's a that's though. a helpful tip too. Yeah, and it's actually um, leave it like this. here, here. This. I took the tag off this. Ooh, this bubble wrap. I'm sorry. Um, I took the tag off this one too. Sorry, that was really loud. So I got. 10 or 20 of these um <laughs> and they're a dollar 50 on a clean run um that's pretty cheap yeah and on amazon i think they do a three pack for like 475 so cool. it comes out cheaper than amazon and then you know discount on top of that okay um so it's like a good thing to have how much was the discount again 15 percent on black friday okay wide. not bad um <laughs> so we are on a frisbee kick we are trying to like test out basically all of the major dog frisbees on the market, um, and the thing about dog frisbees is you can use. Can I stop? Oh boy. Um, you can. I'm gonna give the plastic to you. Oh. Uh, you can use regular frisbees, mm -hmm. but um, they can hurt your dog's jaw because they're pretty hard plastic. Mm -hmm. So dog frisbees tend to be like flexible. Let me see. <laughs> he wants it. <laughs> he wants it. He loves frisbees. Oh, that is actually quite flexible. Oh, there he goes. Off. There he goes. Yep, yeah. he likes it. He loves frisbees. So these are the Hyper Flight Soft Light Frisbees. Um, okay. Got a couple of them. They're pretty cheap. I'll put prices and links and everything um, in the description box. But these are the... Um, Hyper Flight is a great brand for dog frisbees. Mm -hmm. And these are the Soft Flight ones. So they're like the, the softer ones that they make. Okay. Um, I think the softest, but going at it there um so we're going to test these out along with a stack of other frisbees that we have you see it gets a little crazy um yeah, he loves his frisbees yeah and that's the thing like clean run carries some really good quality frisbees um because like you know they they're selling them for competitive disc dog things uh disc dog events yeah okay. that was like very inarticulate <laughs> Um, all right, what's in this one? More calm balls. Guinness, can I open the box? This would really go a lot faster. Oh, this is just, uh-uh. Just calm balls? Yeah, this is just a box of calm balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they were back-ordered. This is one of the items that was back-ordered, so uh... they just sent me a box of balls basically okay okay um we're just yes yeah, we'll just put it on the um yeah. the uh kind of like a fun box to open just put it on the equipment cabinet behind you uh yeah that's fine i'll just cover oh. up the other box okay okay that works <laughs> he's so useful good boy thank you guinness good boy see okay. well done <laughs> it's way more efficient than me trying to pop all of them. Alright. This one's a bigger box. Let me get out of this. Oh. This was, um, this box is from the, Guinness, <laughs> you clutch, from the 12 Days of Deals. Um, yeah. 
so they had one day that was like travel and trialing stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll open this actually. This is the pop open dog kennel. It's like, um, what do you just take? It's oh, it's a ball. ball. Okay, that's fine. Oops, this is really bad. <laughs> Um, it's a soft kennel mm -hmm. that basically folds into a circle. Oh god. Um, okay. And suppo I'm gonna keep the instructions because we're not gonna remember how to do this. Um, but supposedly, how do I open this? Do I just tear it open? I do not know. You want a knife? I do. Uh, are you going to open this for me, Guinness? Here, do you want a knife? Uh, yeah. Oh, I think yeah. Watch out. It's sharp. Try not to cut our dog, because that would be unfortunate. He would not appreciate that. There we go. Got it. All right. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, like on the train um, near us, they require that dogs be contained. Mm -hmm. And we've been like buying tote bags and yeah. stuff, trying to figure out ways to keep them yeah. contained. Like you see people carrying dogs yeah. in New York on like, uh, yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, IKEA, like, like bags. IKEA bags and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, so idea. we haven't yeah. been able to figure that out with him yet. I'm sure we could make it work if we wanted to, but this is sort of a creative solution for that. And if we ever end up doing like agility competitions, we'll be good for that too. So it's this small to begin with. Make when, note because I'm not going to be able to. When it's folded? Yeah. I'm not necessarily going to be able to fold it back up right away. Get his, you have a ball out. Leave it. He's going to take all the Kong balls out. <laughs> it's like, Get his. his head is just completely in there. Get his, you little snoop. Okay, that's like an elastic. Okay. There you go, just give it to me. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's see. So it just pops open. It's a Velcro. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a laundry hamper. Huh. It's a laundry hamper for dogs? It's totally a laundry hamper, you guys. <laughs> it is. <laughs> How interesting. Oh my god, it's huge. That is way too big. Oh my god, Guinness. This is massive. Now I've like scared him off it forever. He's it's... like never gonna go in it now. Essentially... So wait, in what way is this a carrier though? Well, it's not a carrier, it's a travel crate. Oh, okay, okay, just for him to have some isolation and be able to sleep in it? It's really for like agility trials. I think I thought it was going to be smaller. Well, he's not that tiny. Good boy. He's like, we're going to have to train him to go in it. <laughs> Alright, we'll work on this slowly. This is, this is not a two minute project. Boy. You can do it, Guinness. I like scared him with popping it open that suddenly. Yeah. Yeah. My bad, Guinness. Here. Good boy. Good boy, Guinness. There you go. There you go. See? It's not scared. Okay. This is this is not film worthy. Yeah. <laughs> That's very boring. Yeah, especially 18 minutes in. <laughs> Alright. Um Okay. And then the other stuff. Oh, he's going inside. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Normally, he, he doesn't really like being in small spaces. Uh, he doesn't mind it. It just, you know, takes some acclimating. Um, okay. Okay. So continuing with the Frisbee obsession. Okay. The need to test every decent Frisbee on the market. Um, this is the Chuck It Zip Flight. Oh, yeah. I've seen this in stores. It's yeah. like super heavy duty, right? Yeah. We also have the regular Chuck It. Um, the ball, you mean? No, no, no. Oh, you mean well, like we the, do also have that. Yeah. The, uh, the chuck it disc. So this is. Okay, so this is not, not has nothing to do with the actual device, the chuck it. No. Okay, it's so this just is just like a, a frisbee. frisbee. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, that I actually don't think is on sale. I think I just put that in to get free shipping. Okay. Okay, and then we got a bunch of like training tug toys. Mm -hmm. Um. More as we're not going to give them all to him immediately, but just as like you know, we'll just put for, them away. And does then, yeah, yeah, we'll put them away, and then like over time, we'll yeah. take them out and give them to him. And he so, loves tug toys. Yeah. Like he responds, it's more, more, it's a better motivator than food for him sometimes. Yeah. He he trains really well with tug toys. Okay, good boy, Guinness. 
Yeah, yeah just take it away so we can use yeah. it later. Drop it. Keep it a high value. Drop it. Good boy. Um, so he does listen sometimes. Good. What is that? No, it's just the bark box. Oh, the bark box. It's just his truth to drop it in. Good boy, Dennis. Okay. All right. I'm not going to play with all the other ones. I'll just show them to you. Mm -hmm. um, there's this one, which is like, I think it's rabbit fur, actually. And you actual rubber fur? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's super soft. And huh. there's a Velcro thing here where you can open it and put treats inside. Oh. Ah. Like extra motivation. And there's a speaker. To make it like, okay. Oh. So yeah. there's many layers of, of attraction. Yeah. And there's like the bungee cord. Okay. Clearly he wants it. He wants it bad. Um, okay. Lots of tug toys. There's this thing. It's just like, it's just like a little tiny. It's a small tug toy. <laughs> That's not going to support your weight, Guinness. I don't think he noticed now is that that's a... Uh, that's yeah. Okay. There's a squeaker in here too. Is that also rabbit? Do you think? Uh, I think so. It's really soft. Oh. I know some of these have real rabbit fur in them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, some high quality tuck toys. Yeah, Cleveland does some really good quality tuck toys. Uh, these were I think twenty percent off. So bungee cord. Okay. Um, this is like a the dynamite stick. Okay. Like they can really sink their teeth into. Um. What else? Another one. Again, bungee cord. Okay, it's kind of furry. Toy, furry thing. These, uh, oh, there's one more here. Another one. Just a thin one. Okay. Bungee cord. He loves the bungee cord. Yeah. Um, so it's like really fun for tugging. Um, these are like two different, this is kind of cool concept actually. So this one, you can open up and there's one of these inside. And they come in like three different firmnesses, like firm, oh. medium, soft. Interesting. So it's like firm to like sink his teeth into. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you kind of like figure out which one they like the most and you yeah. can like replace the bar. Um, oh, and then these came as a pack, like a bundle. Something just flew in my eye. <laughs> See? Okay. Um, it's Beware. Like little like what is flower it? thing. And then you can like, as Velcro, and you open it. Then, let's see how all this works. Oh, interesting. So it's like a. You put a treat inside. It's like just a, a, a like a cognitive yeah. task for him to be able to open it. Yeah, it's like a puzzle toy, basically. Puzzle toy, yeah. Put this away. Yeah, yeah, put that away. Um, yeah, it's like a puzzle toy which keeps him stimulated. Um, and they're really like puzzle toys and brain games are like the best for tiring dogs out yeah. too. Um, yeah, yeah, mental stimulation tires them out. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be really fun and you know good for. Okay, he's actually working pretty hard to do. He's working really, yeah, he's got to figure it out. Yeah, I think he's just gonna destroy it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, no, it. it's also great because he likes tearing things. So he gets the satisfaction of tearing it and getting oh, a reward okay, without fair. destroying the toy, hopefully. We'll find out. Um, okay. So there's that one. There's a similar one. This one, which is like, it folds open. Oh, interesting. And then it's the same thing. There's like a compartment oh. on the inside. I've never seen these before. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, they're really good for mental stimulation. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more, but with flaps. Same concept. Okay, cool. Yeah. I think this one might be a little easier, actually. Okay. Maybe I'll give him this one. Is he still going at it? Okay. I think this one might be easier for him. This, yeah. Try and on. these don't have any tags on them, so you can use them right away, so that's nice. Yeah, it's great. I think they're um, made by Clean Run, actually. Oh, okay. It's like their house uh, toy. <laughs> I'm not sure he totally gets that one. Um, the one with the flaps might be easier for him, because mm. this Hold on to the flaps. Mm, okay. All right. Now this thing. There's more. There's more. Okay. This is all Black Friday. Um. More frisbees. Okay. These are the Hyper Pet original flippy flopper discs. Mm -hmm. So there's just two of them. They came in two colors. Okay. So we'll test those out at some point. Mm -hmm. Take those. Um. More frisbees. Okay, a different are, hardness, I guess. Yeah, Hero Air 235s. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people use these for competition. Ah, uh, so they're disc dog competition? Yeah, disc dog competition. Right. These are the same thing, just in a different color. Okay, cool. Good boy, Guinness. He's really working at that. 
Okay, I got a stupid amount of bark pops. <laughs> so bark pops you can't really find in stores. Mm -hmm. So Clean Run had them, so I just got them. Yeah. So uh, bark pops in smoked sausage flavor. Um, these have sorghum grits, graham rice, dried navy beans, sunflower oil, tomato pumice, mustard, fennel, black pepper, oregano, salt, dried yeast, citric acid, natural flavor, and lactic acid. Um, huh? He really likes these. So. They're kind of like the, the Cheetos. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had them before. That's smoked sausage flavor again. Okay, we're not going to yeah. open these. We're just yeah, yeah. Uh, rotisserie chicken flavor. Okay. The ingredients are basically the same. Um, white cheddar flavor. Oh, jeez. Another white cheddar flavor. Okay. And another rotisserie chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> I hey, told dude. you, free shipping. How much did you buy? What? <laughs> we had to reach our free shipping limit. What is this? <laughs> what the hell? He can this... Oh, this is for you. But, oh, you got it? No. He... Wait, you can hear me going at it. Yeah, but he just tore the side off. Look really? at it. Yeah, look at that. No, he didn't. No? No. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got it, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good okay. boy. He, he actually did tear it a little bit. Yeah. His little hole. But he did actually get the treat out. Huh. His yeah. tiny little teeth. Um. Oh, so much stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this I'm kind of excited about. Um, this is... So you know how they have... um. Poles for uh, cats. Like the poles. Okay. Like dangle. Oh, they're called flirt poles. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I got a flirt pole for dogs. I see. This is a lot of tape. <laughs> wow, that is interesting. Um, it was great for hounds who have a lot of prey drive like him. Yeah. So this is a chase and pull dog toy. Can't get the tag off right now. But, um, I don't know what this thing is. Let me see it. Okay. Yep. Yep. This is going to be a success. And this is great to exercise him without having a runner. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially when it snows and you can't really go outside because he gets yep. cold. So this will be a lot of fun. And, you know, you periodically let him uh, catch it. We'll see how durable this ends up being. Yeah. Good boy, Guinness. I mean, it's nice because, I mean, you, you know, even if it tears then maybe we could just replace it with something else because there's like a hook thing kind of attached to it yeah okay they sell replacements nice so we bought one replacement oh huh, cool um, so these are good for um playing obviously but also i think um they're really good for training their impulse control okay so you can like train leave it with like a really tempting fun object that is really good because he needs to learn that <laughs> uh yeah maybe he'll learn how to leave the squirrels alone look at how much of a monster he is <laughs> good boy guinness <laughs> he, yeah. I think he's trying to um, do what he does with the Kongs, like knock it against the floor. Oh, okay. to, yeah, see? Yeah, he's trying to throw it he, around. He, he thinks that it'll break open if he knocks it against the floor. He'll figure it out. Okay. All, All right. right, so is that, that is it. it. All right. Just that. Our massive uh, holiday in Black Friday haul. Uh, yeah, um, and there's more stuff to come, actually. All right. <laughs> Okay. Leave it at that. Bye, Guinness. Guinness. Bye. <laughs> He's busy. Like one glance.